Minnesota's gun laws are back on the front burner at the state capitol. A local state senator is once again pushing legislation that he says are common sense steps to save lives. Eric Nelson joins us now with more. Hi, Eric. Hey, Shannon. Uh, DFL Senator Ron Latz is behind the effort to foster these changes. Latz reintroduced two bills today at the Capitol, similar to laws he tried to get approved in the past. Now, the first one is the Extreme Risk Protection Orders Bill, which lets law enforcement and family members get a court order to restrict someone's access to guns if there are red flags in their background. The second bill extends criminal background checks to most private sales, gun show markets, and online transactions. Changing gun laws can be a monumental task, but Latz is confident these will get enough support to pass. If you are a law-abiding gun owner and you don't have a prohibited criminal history, you really have nothing to worry about from these bills. 60% of guns that are sold in Minnesota already go through a background check because they go through licensed dealers. Unfortunately, there's a loophole right now. At a news conference in St. Paul, Latz and other DFL lawmakers presented their case for tougher gun laws. They cited a nationwide study from 2009 through 2016 where approximately 42% of mass shootings produced evidence that the gunman displayed warning signs before carrying out the attack. Uh, today, also at the Capitol, was a gun owner's lobby day, and a group of them showed up to hear about the proposed changes. They say these ideas won't do any good. Legally, we need to work with the mental health issues, that, and that seems to be the basis of a lot of it. The other thing is it's a breakdown in families. So when you start put those two things together, you rebuild families and work with the mental health, then you solve the problems. Now, according to a Minneapolis Star Tribune survey in 2018, 9 out of 10 Minnesota residents supported criminal background checks on all private firearm purchases. The poll sampled people from both political parties, those in urban and rural areas, and gun owners and those who don't own guns. Shannon? All right. Thank you, Eric.